this is Ig G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Last time, looks like we reached the rendezvous point without incident. Looks like we made it without incident. Ah. Are we the first ones? Maybe there's people hiding behind the trees! We've only just arrived, so don't let your guard down. Oh, or that. Still, it should be okay to take a breather. I don't see any monsters around here. We can't do anything without the others, after all. Oh. Um, well, I, we made it here! But, okay. There they are. Hey, hey! Took you long enough to get past all those flaming chickens. Dinosaurs, or whatever they're dealing with. Pardon. Hey, how's it going? Heiss's messenger. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Most impressive. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. So, what do you want? Oh. <laughs> I like the look on Stock's face. He had that evil look there. <laughs> State your business. This is the message. But I just got sent off to a mission. What do you mean by that? That is all. Huh. Is he threatening me? Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay, well, never mind then. Then I ask you to deliver a message to Heiss in return. Consider the offer declined. Abandoning this brigade is the furthest thing from my mind right now. On this timeline, anyway. <sighs> Get that message to Heiss, and do it fast. Oh. Oh? What's that? Oh! Wow, they sure do a lot of, uh, multitasking, huh? These spies. Is it going to be to hell? You must be the informant that Lieutenant General Raul spoke of. Understood. Seems like a bad idea to have multiple spies carrying multiple messages per spy. I mean, if one of them gets discovered, a whole bunch of information is going to be missing. To the front lines with the Valkyrie. Guess that means we're her reinforcements. Yeah, doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. And not about the reinforcements, I mean, about the spy. That is all. Shouldn't you be going back to Alistair? Stock, could I borrow you for a moment? Looks like we're shipping out to the Sand Fortress. Yeah, I heard. I heard. <laughs> the same fortress we took back from Granor the other day. That's correct. It's probably been the most embattled region of the whole war. Why? It's a desert! But I don't understand. If they're sending reinforcements, our numbers hardly qualify. Well, you gotta send what you got! What could they be thinking by sending in such a small number? We've got like 30 people with us! Something wrong, Stock? No. It's nothing. Many of us qualified to save the world going to inform the men. I just need to wait for all of them to get here. If they do. Hey, Stock. Are you sure we should just let that guy go? Why not? I don't know why, but I got an odd feeling about him. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. I think you're just being paranoid. I thought you might say that. I got the same feeling. Huh. Or, okay. It seems we're all in agreement. It looked like he was heading for the Judgment Cliffs. I wonder why he was going that way. Hmm. I don't know! Alright. Let's tail him. But I guess we might as well. So yeah, Rosh is gonna be out of our party for the moment. So now we need to get... Well, Marco! Set up. So, let's see. With Rosh... 
Let's get you back on like a brigandine or something. Get rid of that. That ought to be good. Let's see. I want Marco to have the strongest body armor. So let's just kind of hand these up until we get that to him. Let's see. I'm going to give the seed ring to Marco now that I'm actually going to be using him. He could use the help with the HP there. Wow, you have less HP than Rainy even. I didn't think the difference was that big. But, okay. I do not care about what weapon I have on Marco. He is purely a support character. He does one thing, and he does it really well. We'll wait here until everyone shows up. Oh, right. If you've got any business to attend to, I suggest you get cracking on it now. What do you mean, business? <laughs> what, you mean, like, taking a leak or something? I don't know. Yeah, do whatever you need to do. Well, you could start by getting a new uniform. We'll wait here until. Come on, can I talk to? We'll find out our next destination when everybody's here. Didn't we already know that? I wonder where we're going. I'm excited. Going into the unknown, where no man has gone. Well, okay, we've been there before, but yeah. But let's see, okay. Yeah, we're all set and ready to go. I would not worry about healing up to Max or anything. His footprints are fresh. Looks like he's been here. What footprints? He must be heading north. I guess we're just supposed to use our imaginations or something. And Stock, be careful. I've got a bad feeling about this. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Yeah. Something was off about him. There was? You guys should keep your guard up, too. Well, okay. Now, just like the Judgment Cliffs on yeah. the other timeline, we're not supposed to go to the left for a long time. Like, yeah. not until, like, Chapter 4. <laughs> the enemies there will kill you if you try to fight them. Especially at these levels, let alone relatively or more normal levels if you've been fighting everything. But here, we got a new enemy. Got Let's it. see. Uh, Cactus Blow. Those guys... Well, actually, first things first. Let's take out the, uh, the searcher in the back there. So, let's see. You guys go there. Now, whenever you see a 2x2 two two enemy, I don't know if it applies to every single one. But most 2x2 two two enemies, if not all of them, are susceptible to some sort of GOT, like a poison or curse or, or anything like that. And what poison does, I had Rainy use her poison break, whenever the enemy takes a turn, they're going to suffer some damage. And the thing is, is that normally, actually, you know what, let's have Marco finish that guy off. But yeah, normally the Cactus Blow has really high defense and magic defense, so it's pretty hard to damage them. But, but if you uh, poison them, then they lose most of their HP, and then we can just finish them off with Are you hurt? Oh, just a regular attack there. Hooray! And by the way, a DOT, for those who don't know the terminology, that's damage over time. Like, uh, poison, instead of dealing all of your damage up front, it slowly deals damage over time. Although, in this case, it dealt a lot of damage at once still. But it still took a little while for that damage to kick in there. It wasn't all at once, like a magic attack spell. Uh, curse is another DLT in this game. There's also the burn status in Gungnir. Yeah, a whole bunch of, uh... DOTs for my LPs. What is high scheming? <laughs> well, he wants you back, I guess. <sighs> if you give it to us straight, we won't harm a hair on your head. What are you gonna do? Torture the guy? My. What do you mean? 
and because I get the job done. Maybe you should ask Heis for yourself. <laughs> Oh. Three on one? Or I could exceed your limits. For boss time! I won't lose. Against Shadow. Okay. But alright, first things first, let's get this guy in the back row there. Now sometimes what he'll often do is lay a heal zone on the battlefield there and if trick. you see that there you want to move him off of it as quickly as possible okay there it is so yeah once he does that if he's on that tile at when he gets his turn or whatever he will regenerate some of his HP so you want to watch out for that so yeah let's get him off of that so you're going to see field effects like that, where you got to watch out for where the enemy is going to be on the battlefield. A lot of the time, though, it's not going to be this easy. This is just practically a tutorial battle to show you how field effects work and stuff like that. Now, since I've got the guy in the back row and he only does physical attacks... Ow. Yeah, let's, let's cure that. But yeah, um, unfortunately, Marco cannot do anything with that. Hmm. Can I heal anyone? Yeah, we can heal Stock. That's fine. But yeah, since he can only use physical attacks, I'm leaving him in the back row. And even though magic isn't really Stock's specialty, if you got magic boost on him, he'll be able to deal far more damage with that than he would with any physical attacks like Power Wave. Hmm. Okay, we still got our buffs there. By the way, this guy has no elemental weakness. Just use whatever elemental spells you feel like. I'm just trying to get a little variety in there. But yeah, as you can see, this guy can petrify you as well as he could potentially poison you too. So you want to watch out for that. Poison usually is not nearly as obscenely powerful as it was against that cactus blow enemy. But still, you do want to cure it. It is a threat. It did it unlike a lot of other JRPGs. <laughs> but alright, got it. Kick ass and take names. What do you mean? Explain yourself. <laughs> well, he's failing. That's <laughs> keep going. Well, maybe I can save him now that I know it's coming. <sighs> what do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Hugo? Anything else? Maybe Noah? <sighs> or Raul, for all we know. We only met the guy, what, once? Or, no, twice, I think, now. Well, I want him to survive, too. You've said enough. I have no further use for you. Zophar, is that you? Be gone. Eh, pretty much. Oh, I've seen that black glow before. Whoa! No way! What just? Once you go black, you never go back. What does that even mean? He turned into sand. Nuts. You mean like that sand plague thing? 
I never imagined it was real. Well, I've seen it before. What should we do? Should we report this? Eh, just sweep him under the rug. This isn't something we want spreading amongst the new men. I'll tell Rosh when it's time. I need you two to stay quiet about this. And don't let your guard down. We need to be cautious of our surroundings at all times. Aren't we gonna pass by this lump of sand on the way to the sand fortress, though? You're right. Be careful. Our opponent is more than likely poised to strike already. I wonder who was that guy that was talking anyway. It's what we do until he makes his move that will make all the difference. Kind of muffled the guy's voice. Could be anyone. That's all I've got for you. This will be a tough battle, but we fight for the glory of Alistair. I expect only the best. I thought we were fighting for our survival, not necessarily glory. Once your unit is prepared, depart for the Sand Fortress. Hey, where have you guys been? We're just about ready to move out. Oh, murder. I, I mean, uh, taking care of business. Rosh, we need to talk. Yeah? What's this about? Lieutenant General Raoul's concerns weren't far off the mark. Matt. His concerns? Wait, don't tell me. Our destination is the Sand Fortress. And that's not a coincidence. Why is that? No wonder they're sending in such low numbers. But we can't just defy our orders. We still have to go to the Sand Fortress. Maybe they'll send more reinforcements. On top of that, we'll be fighting alongside Field Marshal Viola on the front lines. Wouldn't you agree that at least that part is in Alistair's best interests? Hmm. That is clever. You're right. I thought you might say that. Well, now that we know what's going on behind the curtain, we won't fall for it as easily. We do? Thanks, my friend. All right, let's head up north through the Judgment Cliffs. I don't think we really know that much more than we did before. The Sand Fortress is just ahead. Understood, Captain. I mean, we know Hugo's got it in for us. But we don't know what he's planning. The only problem is Heiss. What kind of trap does he have planned for us? How many people have it in for us, anyhow? But alright. Back to more party members. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother rearranging my setup. Because, yeah, I'm just gonna go past all these enemies pretty easily. These guys would be safe to fight if you really wanted to, but I don't think we need to. You're up to level 12. That should be good enough for now. Man, I'm a lot lower level than I was in the original LP. But alright, so just like the Sand Fortress in uh, standard history there, yeah, we want to hang around to the left side, because if you walk like straight up the middle there, you'll hit some invisible traps and take damage. Not that it really matters right now, but it's there. So, this is the Sand Fortress? Is it made out of sand? Something wrong? You look a little disappointed. Uh, well, I, I guess I was expecting something grander? Well, it's got three floors. How big do you want it? It's just not what I imagined. Wouldn't you agree, Sergeant? Well, I've been here before. Sergeant? Um, Stock, sir? Come on, Stock. I know you're not a people person, but you can at least respond to questions. What are you talking about? Oh, I was just thinking about murder. Is something wrong, Sergeant? You seem especially tense. Don't let it get to you, Keo. This is just standard stock. Yeah, just wait till you see, uh, extended stock. Really? But he's been on edge ever since we passed through the Judgment Cliffs. Don't let your imagination get the better of you, Keel. 
Yeah, you're just being paranoid. Stock's not being curt on purpose, so no hard feelings, okay? You know, he's just shy. <laughs> I don't know if I'd put it that way. I understand. He usually doesn't seem to care about anyone. But when there's danger, it's always the sergeant who's first to the rescue. And let your actions speak louder than your words. Sounds like you have a fan stock. Anyway, we should head inside. So... Ah, okay, I was gonna say, yeah, where are we going? Okay, I guess we gotta report to her, huh? Well, first thing we need to do is report our arrival. Excuse me, can I ask you something, soldier? Yes? I'm Major Rush, and I've just arrived with a reinforcement brigade. I thought you were a captain! Could you point me in the direction of Field Marshal Viola's quarters? Understood. Ah. Well then, where is she? In one bed? Is that so? On the floor? Uh, can you tell me where I can find her then? Um. Okay, she's sleeping on the floor then. This way, please. Nah. Nah, just kidding. Yeah, this time the Sand Fortress is going to be much bigger for us to explore. We got a lot of rooms and everything to cover. This way. Excuse me. And there's going to be some treasure, too. Hey, how's it going? Excuse me, are you Field Marshal Viola? Shouldn't you know? Indeed I am. And you are? Major Rosh, man. I'm the captain of the reinforcement brigade sent to your command. How are you a major and a kit? How does that even work? I've come to report that we've arrived. I see. And good timing. We were about to begin a strategy meeting. Hey, all right. I hate to impose on you since you've only just arrived, but you should probably sit in. We've received intel that a large Granorg detachment is headed this way. How big could it possibly be? Already? Understood. Sorry, Stock, but could you guys check up on the men? Um, aren't we already there? I'll catch up with you as soon as the meeting is over. Understood. Leave it to us. Let's go, Keel. Sorry about all this. I'll greet them officially as soon as I'm able. Well, they all look the same anyway. I like Viola's voice actress. She sounds about like I would think she would. Sir. Oh, yeah. Captain Roche is in a strategy meeting with Field Marshal Viola and her advisors. Oh, um, evidently. That's right. You should all get rest while you can. A room has been prepared on the second floor. All units are on standby until further orders. Hey, hey all right. Understood. Is it free to rest up there? Spoiler alert, it is! Our first free healing point. Well, that was Field Marshal Viola. I've heard the rumors, but she was truly beautiful. No wonder they call her the Valkyrie. Um... Yeah, yeah. Huh? I thought you were smitten with Dr. Sonia. I didn't mean it like that. Well, he's probably just a horny teenager. Huh. Well then, can you explain how it's different? It's... Uh, well, uh, I look up to Field Marshal Viola. I've heard about her distinguished military career ever since I was young. Well, she doesn't seem to have done that good of a job, given our current situation. She's... like... a hero to me. Wouldn't she be a heroine? A hero, huh? I guess that's true. Well, of course. People often speak of the Field Marshal's charisma, especially compared to General Hugo. 
I would think General Hugo would have more charisma given his position. That's why the rumor is that General Hugo kind of banished Viola to this fortress. Well, yeah, that's not really a big secret at this point. So, what happened to her when Granorg was taking back the fortress? It's all right. All that matters is that the field marshal is alive and well. Yeah, I suppose. She's still the Valkyrie, and she'll keep winning everyone's trust, I'm sure. But I must admit, I do look up to someone else a little bit more than her. General Hugo? Huh. Well, if they can surpass Field Marshal Viola, that's really an accomplishment. Or Raoul. So, who is it, huh? Sergeant Stock, of course. Oh, well, yeah, he is the protagonist. Oh, wow, he actually said it. <laughs> you really are the fan favorite, Stock. Knock it off. No good would come from following my example. <laughs> Do you want to end up like me? That's not true. Ever since Captain Rosh told me about you, I've really looked up to you. Thanks? Following in your footsteps would be like a dream. Okay, you, you, you're getting a little creepy there, pal. Anyway, I'm sure Rosh's meeting is just about over. Let's go see if we've got any new orders. Oh, yeah, we should do that. But now, yeah, we get a new travel node added to the White Chronicle. And like I said, there's the free healing point on the second floor. So if you wanted to, pretty much at any point in the game, you could travel back here, heal up, and then go back to wherever you need to go to advance the plot. So that's pretty nice. But what are our new orders going to be from Field Marshal Viola? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!